Hello everyone, welcome back to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today we are going to be creating magic. Trust me, we are going to be creating magic right here. So I want to teach you how you can use how you can use AI right to transform your images. So this concept we are going to be doing. I got it from famous photography ng. Yeah, that's his Instagram handle, famous photography ng and this is his result. Man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So we're going to be turning these images into this using just two particular tools. We are going to be using Nano Banana and Photoshop. I'll tell you what we're using Photoshop at the end of the day. So without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. So the first thing we need to do is to open up our Nano Banana site. So I'm using my Nano Banana website the one on my laptop. If you are using a phone, all you need to do is just download the app from your Google Play Store or your Apple Play Store and you will also follow along. Then make sure that you are selecting create image model. This one, this Nano Banana image model. And of course, uh, I think they are doing an advert for their Nano Banana Pro. I don't really know what that offers, but this, the one we are using can actually get us the result we want. So I'm going to load up the image. I'll minimize it, but I'm going to load up the image I want to create. So the first one we're going to be creating is this one. The second one is this one. So I'm going to drag this and drop it here. So now it's loaded up. The next thing is to prompt it to tell it exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to be copying the prompt we are going to be using which is this one. So I, I will try and read it out. It says, create a high-end fantasy theme studio portrait scene in rich purple tones. Replace the original background with highly detailed magical environment featuring oversized purple mushrooms, purple flowers on the floor, and a classic vintage car in deep purple behind the subject. Transform the lightning to soft cinematic beauty lightning with smooth shadows and rich purple color grading throughout the dress okay dress the subject in an elegant purple ball gown so if you don't want your own to change what your model is wearing then i think you might want to remove this particular part which says dress the subject in an elegant purple tall gown with layered satin and lace details flowing naturally to the floor add purple gloves and ensure so you notice it's taking our time to describe the details of what she will wear add purple gloves and ensure the dress looks naturally lifted and realistic ensure the subject's real body size skin tone and all of that so i'm going to copy it and paste it directly into my nano banana right here and just press Okay, so let's see what it does. Let's see how close it will get to the result that famous that famous photography.ng famous famous photography ng created. I really, really, really love the concept, amazing work he did there. So if you're a photographer, this is how you can actually mimic a lot of people's concepts and oh my, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So I think we didn't tell you to maintain the posture. That is why her own hand is in front instead of on her waist. But I think I actually love the result I have here. The result I have here. So I can now tell it the hand on the, the hand in front, uh, front holding nothing, holding nothing. Place it on her waist. If you don't want to do this part, you might just go back to your prompt and tell it to maintain the original posture, not to change any posture. Then it will give you the image back in your original posture. So did you notice what it did with the hand? Gave it a globe, then gave her, you know, still doing the same thing. So you might need to make the changes from your prompt so that it keeps it in the on her waist. So I'm going to, of course, download the image and go 
for the second one I want to create. So the second one, I'll copy the prompt right here. Copy. Go to my, okay, so it's asking me where you should download it. Let me place it exactly where others are. Right here, so save. I'm going to paste the prompt here. Also pick up the image I want to regenerate. So this is the concept we want to try and recreate now. Drag it right into Nano Banana. Place it there and send it off. So let's wait for it to create it. All right, nice, 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 nice. This is beautiful. But it seems like she's standing up. So I want to create another one that will make her lie down. I want the, I want it looking like the way his own is looking. So you notice she's lying down in this one. So we need to get another prompt that will do that for us. So I'll go to my chat GPT and collect the prompt again. Okay. Uh, let's find the exact one that will give us the result. Or rather, let's just tell Nano Banana to make her lie down. So make it to look like she is lying down. Lying down on the floor. This are uh, postures intact. So let's see what that would give. All right, I think I would work with this. So I'm going to download this. Now it's time to go into Photoshop. Now, why do I want to take it into Photoshop? Let me show you something, right? If you look closely to the image, one thing you'll notice is that it doesn't have details. It doesn't have details. And her skin tone is not as sweet as we want it to be. It's looking washed out and it's looking unkept. So what do we do? We open our Photoshop and make adjustment to the skin tone so that we'll get a very beautiful, smooth skin tone and we'll as well upscale the image to give us something that we'd want to work with. So I'll take it right into Photoshop over here. Okay. Reset photography. All right, so I'm going to make a selection of my subject. Right click, go to select inverse and make a duplicate. Right click again, go to layer via cut. So we have our object on a separate layer now. We go to our solid color, load up any kind of skin tone we want. So we'll just go for something warm. Once it towards the orange. Yes, like that. Press OK. Then hide it, make a duplicate of your image layer, create a mask for it, go to select color range. To automatically select her skin because we have already selected her skin with selected other people's skin before now so press ok use the mask to replace the mask of the solid color so we now have our skin selected change the blend mode soft light or even color and reduce it of course so we'll have a very beautiful skin tone now if you want it brighter you can actually go to the brightness and Increase it. Uh, go to saturation, drop it down a bit. And to our hue, let's see if we can push towards something finer. Yeah, this is good. And of course, I need to brighten the whole image up a little. So I'll just push up my curves, not levels, curves. All right. And we'll have a good result. Now, I want to have this same skin tone on this one. What do I do? I come into my solid color, copy. The hex code over here, press OK. You can now flatten everything you did here. Pick up your lasso tool. Select the logo, press fill, content aware, 
and it's gone now it's time to upscale your image go to your make a duplicate go to image go to image size so if you notice your resolution is, is at 72 change your resolution to like 400 then your width and height maybe like 5000 to whatever the other value will be and press ok so what this will do for you is that it's going to blow up the image for you you will notice it so just scaled everything in i will now have a higher quality of image if the image is not retouched you can actually do the retouching yourself so i'll go to my photo filter to create a global color grading then you can as well go into your you know you can try using your high pass to even add more texture so this is the difference between you as a photographer using uh, your nano banana to work against a normal person that just uses his phone without knowing his left to his right. So with this, you can actually generate a clean, detailed image you can give to your client and they will be so, so happy that they did the job with you. Did you notice her dress was changed? So people can actually recreate new dresses using this technique. So we we'll just save this as JPEG. Press OK. Then we'll go back to this one. Make a selection of our subject. <laughs> right click, go to select inverse. Make a duplicate. Right click again, go to layer via pot. So we'll have our object on a separate layer. Uh, load up your solid color. Remember, we'll copy the hex code. So we'll just press Ctrl V and it will paste. Press OK. Hide it. Make a duplicate of your main objects layer. Create a mask for one of them. Then go to your select. Go to color range, right? Go to color range and just use your plus icon to add every other part of the skin I was not properly selected. Then press OK. Use the mask to replace that of your solid color. Now you can change the beam mode to soft light or to color. Any of them will feel so. Let me, since we used color in the other one, let's maintain color so that we'll get a uniform skin tone. Okay, so I think this is entering her eye. So I'm going to remove it from her eye. So did you notice it didn't make any single change to her face? The same image we gave her was the same image. The same image we gave Nano Banana was the same image it gave back to us. Just that it added the transformations we want. So of course, I'm going to create one more global color grading to bring everything together. Then match the whole spot together. So I'm going to prop this one. I just want it looking like she's, you know, right in there like that. Okay. So the next thing to do is to upscale our image. We'll do it to upscale this. So press Ctrl J. Go to image image size remember what we did here 400 here 5000 press ok close it up for us then press ctrl j did you notice we got more details press ctrl j go to filter other high pass so i will just use my 5.0 change the blend mode to overlay gives us even more skin textures. Look at this. Yes. And that is how you do it. And the job is done. All I need to do now is to save it up and we have a very good result. So let me take you through everything we did. Or rather, let me take you through our concept image and the result we got so that you see how beautifully well this can be. So I'm going to remove them from this lake folder. Place them right into another folder. Right. Hope I didn't miss anyone more. I didn't. Press Ctrl V. Let me check. Okay, so this is the one we took to Photoshop. Yeah. So you notice the difference. This one is 8.18 MB. This is the on upscaled one, 1.52 MB. So 
we could see the difference the image have actually gone up so let me open it up this is our own result this is the concept so you notice one thing even though it gave us something very similar to what uh official photography ng created but it still gave us a unique result so the result looks like the concept we borrowed but it is particular to us it is unique to us that is the beauty you can create recreate another person's concept and still keep it very very unique to your style unique to you so the person cannot even lay claim of the image because it is not the same thing all we did was that we borrowed his concept and we created our own look at this one too we borrowed his concept and we created our own try it out on your own image tell me what you think about it in the comment section i cannot wait to hear your feedback thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want the prompt we used in this video all you need to be just to go to the description of this video you are going to be seeing the telegram channel link where our communities are click on it join our community the prompt we also be pasted there so that you can use it in case you want to recreate you know something similar to what we have here thank you so much one more time see you on the next one